Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> yes, so let's go to the next uh, section. By the, this is the keynote speech. Uh, Professor Hayashi Yoshisimu. In the, uh, we know each other for a while, just la, uh, from last year. He is the professor of Chubu City, as well as Elimitas Professor of Nagoya University, Japan. He gave a slight talk yesterday in the welcome reception. Then you listen to him. And he's also one of 100 full members of Club of Rome. Club of Rome is very, very famous gathering, just only 100 people can join that from all over the world. So it's very difficult to be a member of that. That's only a very high position person. And also he, uh, at the same time, he's the president of World Conference on Transportation Research Society. So he involved in the uh, science operation, how to analyze the traffic, how to make the quality of life higher. And that attract 1,300 members from 60 countries in the world. So very big organization. Professor have the background in civil engineering. The major field of research are analysis and model, modeling of transportation, land use interaction, and countermeasure policy to overcome negative impact of urbanization and motorization. And public books on land use, transportation and development in 1996, urban transportation and in 2004 and blah blah blah. So many publication books also. <laughs> I think he have a lot of uh, experience, including Thailand. So he also held Thailand as a Jaika head here yeah, and doing to have the BTS, the first uh, train, sky train in Thailand, <laughs> but built by him, his idea. So the, the line designed by, by his team. And uh, he contributed to the Thailand book on Zero. And now we have a uh, uh, project together related to how to make the school become the smart city. Okay, please welcome Professor uh, Yoshisunu uh, Hayashi Sensei for his talk. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for your very kind introduction. So this is the title. Okay, so I pushed too much. Yes. Uh, uh, some of or many of you are not familiar with uh, urban planning, but uh, I uh, do hope I explain as uh, understandable as possible as the previous keynote speaker explained very well uh, the uh, 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 knowledge share, uh, database share, etc. Yes. Okay, so uh, I start with uh, Club of Rome. What is Club of Rome? Now you Google Club of Rome, uh, perhaps uh, the, the real Club of, Club of Rome may appear, or a uh, soccer team. Soccer team, <laughs> Rome Club is also very strong. Uh, so uh, I don't know which appears. Uh, AC Milan uh, and several and Club of Rome is uh, also strong. Right. So Club of Rome uh, was famous uh, it's uh, a report named uh, the limit to growth. The, the limit to growth. They were concerning about uh, uh, resource scarceness. Yeah. Uh, this is the uh, problem. Wrong was uh, uh, maybe a good idea to show. Uh, this is a history of Club of Rome. Uh, Aurelio Peche, uh, he was uh, uh, deputy uh, chairman of Olivetti typewriter company. Uh, and uh, uh, he thought uh, it was a real uh, crisis coming. Uh, Okay, so uh, exponential population growth, uh, but uh, uh, food and resources cannot catch up exponential growth. 
then uh, again, and then he found out, he wanted to find out uh, a team who, which can do numerical simulations. And he asked this one person, one professor first, but that person couldn't do. The, the second person was uh, this person, uh, Mr. Forrester, Professor Forrester of MIT, and he answered, yes, we can do, yes, we can, like Obama, okay? And really, they did. And this is a simulation team uh, on the uh, limit to growth. Uh, these are uh, students and uh, young assistants. Uh, he is a Jorgen Randers, he's still a member of Prago Rome. And uh, uh, he's uh, Dennis, uh, uh, Dennis Meadows. He is not a member, but uh, uh, he's still alive. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, what is exponential growth or mechanical process? Uh, so, 50 years ago, okay, uh, Club of Rome was established in 1968. At that time, almost all researchers are from, were from developed countries. So population growth, uh, for them, as common sense, was linear uh, growth of population. No one understood exponential growth. But uh, Aurelio Peche, he was not a researcher at all. Uh, actually, he was, at the beginning, in his young days, he was activist. Uh, underground to fight against Mussolini's uh, fascist government. He was really activist. Yeah. Um, okay, so then uh, exponential growth. Uh, now people started to understand. Okay, so what is uh, exponential growth? So. Again, majority of people understand uh, linear growth. Uh, example is a child, one child. Uh, height is uh, growing every, every year by one centimeter. And the next year, one centimeter. One centi not, not growing like this. Okay? So that is um, linear growth. And another uh, different uh, example is a really pond. Uh, uh, so it's a pond, really. Mm. So there's a pond, okay? You know, really, really, uh, mm. in Buddhism, uh, uh, how to say, shaka, aha, shaka wa taigo, what do you mean? Shaka, 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 Yes, then the yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> twice wide a day. So the first day you go to the pond, then only one leaf of lotus. The next day two leaves. Two, two leaves. Okay. The next day four leaves. Then so third day, not three, third day four. Okay. Aha. Double. Oh. Okay. Then, for example, twenty sec twenty ninth day, half of the pond. Is covered by lotus. Lotus, yes. Then the next day you you go oh. there, suddenly all covered. So that is that is uh, exponential or oh. mechanical um, uh, mechanism. Yes. So what is important here is doubling time, doubling time. Uh, halving time is used uh, important for recognizing. Uh, radiations, radiations, uh, nuclear radiations. Yes. But this time, uh, doubling time is important. Yes. Without understanding this one, so you will suddenly face the crisis. Uh, this is one of the uh, results uh, which MIT team uh, simulated. Uh, the red one is, uh, uh, orange one is population. And uh, uh, this is production, and this is uh, 
industrial output and then the pollution. Mm -hmm. So uh, population grows and too much, then food production cannot. Imagine if population will be twice okay, uh, 40 years later. Can you create one more Pacific Ocean? No. Mm. So that means fish, fish is constant. You cannot produce twice bigger number of fish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the only way to increase the food is to cultivate the land. The cutting the trees mm. or harsh land to cultivate. But that may be possible only grow uh, linearly. Okay, so that is the difference, and the why he raised a big question: uh, the limit to growth of human beings, human society. So human society shouldn't be so aggressive and rude. Again, uh, this is the history. Uh, Peche, the limit to growth simulation uh, published. Uh, so this this is uh, the first Club of Rome report. And then uh, afterwards, uh, some of Club of Rome, mem Rome members proposed to United Nations to establish to start uh, a committee of uh, economic growth and the environment. Because Club of Rome is uh, just NPO. Uh, although this report was sold more than three million uh, copies all over the world, uh, over uh, 15 uh, languages. Uh, when just published, 72, oh, you are just uh, joking. Okay. Everyone told. But uh, fortunately or unfortunately, the next year, 73, oil crisis came in. Oil shock. Okay. Not Lehman shock, oil shock. <laughs> uh, then people, oh, this is uh, reality showing the simulation is uh, showing the reality in the future. So, but uh, this is just a warning. Uh, no, Club of Rome does not have uh, any power to uh, control uh, each country. So the only organization which can be or could be is the United Nations. If decided uh, in the United Nations, like uh, uh, climate change, uh, uh, CO2 reduction, or SDGs nowadays, uh, then each country should follow the rule. Uh, okay, so then this commission uh, started. Uh, later on, uh, this commission was uh, named the uh, Guru Harlem uh, Brundtland Commission. Uh, she she mm -hmm. was formerly uh, prime minister of uh, Norway. And then uh, the concept, uh, our common future or sustainable development, very famous concept. Uh, created by this uh, organization. So in a sense, uh, Club of Rome was uh, a, uh, a mother of uh, Brundtland Commission and uh, uh, sustainable development concept. Uh, very roughly, uh, there are a lot of uh, ideas uh, created, but uh, uh, another famous concept is a Factor 4, uh, proposed by Ernst von Weizsäcker. Uh, by the way, he is now the president of uh, Club of Rome. What is factor four is affluence twice more, affluence twice more, but the resource use uh, twice smaller. Mm. Okay, so if uh, resource use is constant, mm. but affluence twice, resource use uh, should be twice more efficient. <coughs> but even resource use uh, half, half, then four. Two multiplied by two, four times more efficient uh, you should be used. The other time, uh, Ernst von Weizsäcker thought about affluence was GDP. 
But later on, he, he changed his mind. And we, I discussed very much with him uh, in between. Uh, another book he uh, reported, Factor 5. Why Factor 5 is uh, just after 4. And uh, he also knew 4 is not good for Asian people. 4 may uh, mean uh, death. <laughs> so, 5. Here, uh, 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 numerator uh, became uh, uh, f f a change from GDP to uh, world of life, well-being, comprehensive, uh, happiness, and the resource is the same. So this means uh, from efficiency to sufficiency, mm. the paradigm uh, has changed. So this is quite related to today's topic. So sufficiency, I will talk about sufficiency. Yes. in urban planning. And uh, the currently uh, more uh, other uh, concept uh, created that is uh, from one-way economy to circular economy. So, as you uh, always hear, rich, is, rich people are becoming richer and richer. Okay? Uh, this year and uh, 10 years later, 10 times richer, etc. But imagine if you give more money to rich people, they don't have ability to spend money, circulate money. So that means it cannot be GDP. GDP is flowing, passing through, money passing through your country. Okay. But uh, if give give them income increase in rich people, that cannot be used. No flow. So stuck, stuck money. Okay, so dead GDP. Okay. And the poor become more poor. So income dis discrepancy and unhappy people will be more. So uh, now uh, Club of Rome is very keen to, uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, to promote this idea uh, by uh, taxing uh, consumption or uh, uh, not only money but uh, circulate uh, 3R means uh, uh, reuse, uh, recycle, etc. Okay. And also profit should be uh, circulated. This, this is, for example, you uh, opened uh, SkyTrain. Okay. So in, in in the vicinity near these stations, the land value will be up. Okay. So who are the, the money spenders? Money spenders are rail companies or the government. And who are gainers? Gainers are only landowners. Okay. That's unfair. Mm. Okay. So all the benefits are absorbed by landowners. Mm. Uh, if we don't recirculate the absorbed money by landowners, uh, recycle to the uh, rail company or the government, mm. we have to uh, uh, claim very high uh, ticket fare, and no one uses. Okay. The this original idea was created by Sun Yat-sen, father of China, Chinese Revolution. He created very comprehensive Shun Chun Shan. Yeah, you are part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who are Chinese? Who are Chinese? Oh, a lot. Okay, a lot. Okay. So you are you are you are Godfather. Okay. So he was a great man, and uh, yeah, in economics uh, uh, theory, it it is. Uh, named uh, Henry George T. Uh, Henry George Theorem. But uh, uh, your father was much greater. Uh, very broad theory. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and, uh, don't think in short term. Should think long term and holistic. So this uh, I'm always thinking and uh, uh, applying this to urban planning. Okay, the next one is limit to urban growth. 
urban growth, okay, uh, from general to becoming to uh, urban, urban planning. Okay. So this means uh, limit to motorization and urbanization, right? So this is a very famous photo because I took it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, I took it in uh, uh, today. It's named the Westin Hotel in Skumbi, near Aso. You know uh, Robinson Department Store. You know upstairs. It was uh, yeah. It was uh, to, uh, it was named uh, uh, sometimes uh, all Nippon Airways. Uh, Grand Pacific, yeah, Hotel Grand Pacific at the time. Anyway, when I took uh, breakfast, I uh, I uh, read the newspaper Bangkok Post. The top big photo was this. Okay, a boy was uh, waiting for a bus at 4:30 a.m. Well, this is uh, less than 20 kilometer away from the city center. His school uh, start uh, uh, is located near the city center, uh, near mm -hmm. Chunaronko University. Yes. And uh, but he has to start here at 4:30 because of because of this. Okay. So all the traffic was stuck. So it took four hours for 20 kilometer. <laughs> okay. Now uh, if you use the BTS. 20 kilometers, perhaps uh, 20 minutes. Okay, four hours. By the way, uh, nearby uh, uh, my hotel, and this is uh, uh, near Asok uh, uh, crossing, and there's a crossing, I think, here. And then I uh, got out from here, and this is our JICA team uh, van. Right? Whoa! <laughs> and, uh, 300 meters. It took one and a half hours, <laughs> and because I wanted to uh, take a photo uh, uh, for today's lecture for you, then <laughs> fortunately there was a pedestrian uh, bridge here, and then I rushed up <laughs> and then took several photos, and I did not want to be left, so I, I um, rushed down. And then found uh, to, 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 to try to find our van here, but the similar, but the others. So my van was still there. <laughs> that was Bangkok 20 years ago. Yes. Right. Now, so traffic jam <laughs> does not create uh, traffic jam itself or loss of time, but also that uh, changes in long term. Uh, the urban forms, the urban forms are so different between London, Tokyo, Bangkok, and this is my city, Nagoya. Uh, 100 years ago, Bru, London was the biggest, okay, early 20th century. But uh, half a century later, Tokyo also uh, became bigger, but the Tokyo was extended linearly to outside. Uh, why do you think Tokyo was extended linearly? And uh, Bangkok, Bangkok was not extended linearly. Bangkok, after 20 years, okay, so th this was created by my student, Thai student, uh, Sparat Ritika. He is now a uh, senior deputy governor of uh, uh, Mass Rapid Transit Authority in, in Thailand. Okay. He is a doctor of thesis. Okay, so like this. So not linear at all. So simply because Tokyo has a very efficient uh, commuter railway system, but Bangkok, uh, you had state railways, but the service was only one service per hour. Although uh, inside Bangkok you had already at the time more than six million, almost nothing. Right. Then uh, economic growth, you may imagine at the end happiness. You you expect happiness, but in many cases unhappiness comes, 
And the typical example was Bangkok 20 years ago, unhappiness, totally unhappy. Why? There are two reasons. One reason the economic growth means income increase, then people start to uh, purchase uh, cars, afford cars, okay. uh, private cars. Uh, then the model shift uh, from a bicycle, from uh, uh, two wheelers uh, to, to uh, four wheel cars. Uh, the other one is uh, economic growth doesn't happen all country, all over country, but the limited cities, particularly capital city Bangkok. Okay. So, so that uh, farmers, farmers may die because they cannot eat. Okay. Very poor. That's also true in China. Okay. So uh, many people are rushing uh, move, move to into the uh, uh, this cities. Then more and more coming and and then sprawl over. Okay. So then uh, they are obliged. People are obliged to uh, make a longer trip than before. Okay. They live outside. Now this I call it uh, create uh, unnecessary excess car demand. If the city is more compact, then uh, shorter trips is all right. But uh, now you are obliged to. Uh, uh, commute for long distance. That's also true in Tokyo, but the Tokyo's case, uh, they are moving by train very fast. Right. So, and in between, there are also uh, some barriers. Uh, sprawl means uh, to construct a longer infrastructure, okay? Uh, longer railways, roads, or water supply, sewage, everything longer very much inefficient, then no money, then lack of uh, public transport railways or roads, both, and then more congestion, and then uh, more energy consumption, uh, or uh, economic bottleneck, uh, uh, pollution, etc. Okay. Now, uh, again, uh, Sparatorizica spotted, uh, this is per capita GDP, and this is uh, uh, ownership. Okay. So uh, he plotted for Bangkok only this part. Uh, another student uh, added like this. Okay. At the moment, uh, I don't have students because I was retired and I moved to a new university, not yet a student. So I wish to plot more uh, mm -hmm. if you come to me to uh, study uh, uh, with me, then you, you add, please. I hope not coming like this. <laughs> so Tokyo stabilized in early stage of economic development, uh, uh, low income days like this. And the Nagoya, this is my, my city, uh, hometown of Toyota. And uh, uh, Nagoya has a very wide street, okay? Wide street. So that means Nagoya's case, uh, driving car is much more convenient, comfortable. Uh, Tokyo, driving car is so much congested. Uh, railways, metro, is much more convenient. That's why I like this. Uh, in uh, bubble days, uh, uh, late 80s, even uh, big companies, presidents or ministers moved by metro because of their volume value of time is very, very big, high. Mm. So they have to be punctually in time for the next meeting. Yes. So they moved, all of them moved by um, metro. Okay, anyway. So London, so London has very long uh, rail network. Uh, Tokyo has 2,500 uh, kilometer railways in total. Uh, London has perhaps a 3,000 kilometer long. Why London is going up? Okay. So although they have physically long network, but their operation is very much uncertain. Okay. Suddenly, sorry, today, uh, this section, we have to maintain something is wrong. So such kind of very sudden uncertainty, 
people don't wish, then they tend to use cars okay, like this. Um, uh, Beijing, who are from Beijing? No. Yeah, Beijing is uh, chasing Bangkok, but uh, I, I'm <laughs> afraid if they uh, brought it uh, 20, <laughs> 2017, maybe reaching like this, I don't know. You, please plot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shanghai is better. Because Shanghai started a uh, metro uh, construction earlier. Uh, Shanghai has the longest, world longest metro network, more than 600 kilometer. While Tokyo has 350 kilometer. But Tokyo has suburban railways, not inside. Suburban railways, 2,500 kilometer. So I'm recommending the Shanghai people, Shanghai professors, to uh, construct more suburban railways as, as early as possible. Okay, otherwise, uh, they, uh, in a sense, China, uh, Shanghai, Beijing is so, so rich now, uh, maybe too late, maybe too late. Mm. Uh, they, they own cars already. Yes. So before owning cars, it's uh, important. But uh, in, in that case, uh, of course, uh, Bangkok may be too late. But uh, I have a hope. Uh, Okay, so one more. Uh, this is the conclusion of uh, what is uh, limit to uh, car ownership or limit to growth in transport. Okay, so uh, former one, former one, vertical is car ownership. How many cars per 1,000 people? Okay, then this is, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, no, no. This one is uh, car ownership. So now horizontal axis. Okay. So vertical is a very simple indicator of congestion. How many lengths of paved road, paved road, uh, per uh, owned cars, okay, per car. Mm -hmm. So all the city is coming down, coming down. Okay. So this is because to construct uh, road, is uh, always slower than the car ownership grows. If the speed is the same, then the line should be flat. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But it's almost impossible uh, to uh, to buy a car. Is say uh, I don't know uh, uh, one million uh, baht, for example. Mm -hmm. But to construct a road space for one car to drive. 30 meters or 20 meters are necessary to drive. If five meter cannot walk, cannot move, just park. Mm. Okay, even parking lot uh, five meter is uh, impossible. It cannot get up, right? So uh, naturally like this. So this is this is Bangkok. Bangkok is nearly the head. Okay, not heaven. Head. Yeah. 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 Why? So this is very, another very simple indicator. How many minutes it takes to drive for one kilometer? So suddenly, uh, the six meter, around six meter or five meter per car, suddenly get into a very serious traffic jam and stuck. Okay. So this is the limit to growth of car ownership. Right? So not, not car ownership itself. Car ownership versus road lengths. Road lengths. Okay. But uh, be careful. Uh, I always show this uh, in all the cities, in uh, New Delhi, uh, Jakarta, wherever I uh, give such a lecture. Okay. So this is critical point. This is limit to growth in transportation. Now, Solutions, seeking for low carbon city, low carbon transport, low pollution transport, comfortable transport. Okay. Uh, I will omit uh, uh, so many various things. To avoid the trips, uh, to shift trip from uh, low carbon to, uh, no, no, high carbon to low carbon, and to improve uh, vehicle itself. Okay. So three strategies way of thinking, and then each has 
technological instrument, uh, regulation instrument, information and uh, 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 enlightenment instrument, and economic instrument. Now, uh, IoT is located here mainly, but here also covering. Uh, for example, ITS, right? ITS root guidance is uh, ITS, uh, ITS in public transport operation, not, not, not only road operation, may uh, uh, help shift to public transport. Uh, okay, so shift is railway development like BTS, okay? Uh, interchange improvement among railway, BTS, bus, and paratransit systems, so which uh, in our uh, new JICA project, uh, together with uh, Professor Tanaru, uh, we started just starting uh, this project, yes. etc. Okay, so uh, vehicle, so here, uh, autonomous driving, etc. are also here. Um, but eco driving, uh, ITS traffic flow management, etc., are here. Okay. Uh, now this is BTS. So uh, the photo the photo I took was from perhaps from here, uh, facing the hotel. Okay. So from here to here, it took one one and a half hours in 1993, one and a half hours. Now, if you use this uh, 30 seconds, okay, so different. And very comfortable, very comfortable. And there are a lot of, uh, uh, in the matrix, uh, different types of uh, instruments, uh, say, uh, rail network uh, increase, uh, car ownership increase uh, has different uh, effect on CO2 uh, emissions. Uh, so car ownership, uh, uh, okay. Tokyo stabilized, but Bangkok going up, going up. So this is contributing a lot to CO2 emission and pollution. Okay. Uh, anyway. Uh, Tokyo is uh, uh, like here, and Bangkok is here. Uh, but just started, just started. But Bangkok, I hope, uh, coming up, coming up like this, right? And uh, this is just a calculation, uh, backcast calculation, uh, to reduce CO2 emission in Bangkok. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, including Bangkok, ASEAN mega cities, Bangkok, uh, Vientiane, uh, 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 Kuala Lumpur, uh, Singapore, etc. Uh, to reduce this, uh, avoid uh, strategy, shift strategy, improve strategy, how much uh, should be, uh, can be reduced is uh, if each mega city has uh, more than uh, 4,500 kilometer long railways, only this is okay, but uh, it's better to combine together. Uh, if land is control, 3%, uh, reduce 3% of urban uh, diameter or radius is okay, but to reduce even 3% is very difficult. Okay. So uh, combination is important. This is uh, EVs, uh, EV vehicle shares, etc. Right. Um, so I omit this, but uh, if you are uh, uh, familiar with uh, economics, uh, uh, demand and supply curve, uh, many politicians think when uh, road is being congested, oh, we do need more road. <laughs> but it's a wrong, wrong idea, <laughs> very stupid idea, the extreme stupidity. Why? So the, no holism, okay? So uh, transport system is not only road, but uh, for example, rail also can be. Why not asking rail, rail people to construct railways mm. with sa same budget? Yes. 
uh, in many cases, rather than uh, increase supply of road, uh, supply of rail is more helpful to road market. Mm. Okay, supply uh, rail, and then this amount of people are transported by, can be transported by rail. So this means rather than increasing of uh, supply of uh, road facility, but reduce the demand from here to here. Uh, it's, this is travel time reduction. It's more travel time reduction we, we could have. Okay? I see. But the politicians don't think both. Okay, okay so. Now, now, uh, sorry. What is QL? Uh, measuring personal QL for, for, for planning. Okay. Imagine you live in this mesh. Okay. Uh, normally, I use, uh, I started. Uh, my uh, research with uh, remote sensing and the data processing. So, uh, a bit closer to your field now, but uh, I uh, went into planning side more, but uh, still, uh, I like it. So, uh, 500 meter mesh, you live here, and here, for example, here you have nice uh, cultural facilities, you can enjoy cultural life. But uh, no hospitals. Hospitals are green, uh, some other place. And uh, uh, shopping shop, shops are also another place. So you can get hospital service not full, fully, only this one, only this one, because of distance of uh, travel cost. Okay, so if you live here, the provided service are also provided service are there only you can get only this, 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 all together this one. Okay. And then if you wish to get all, no no. If you are a young lady or yes, young lady are here, okay. Who are young lady? Raise hands. No, 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 I don't say so. <laughs> young lady, okay. Young lady may wish most of these uh, wish to get. But young lady don't wish to get the uh, hospital service because they don't need it. But uh, old man like me uh, wish more uh, hospitals, so almost all of this so like this. But for, for me, uh, purple is uh, smaller. But uh, to be honest, I'm still young, so <laughs> I'm an exception. I, I'm rather, rather like a uh, young lady like this. So that's my <laughs> okay. so that, depending on the person, totally different, okay? So, so this I call, this is accessible values, yeah? And this is perceived value, how the person feels, okay? So then, in equation, this can be uh, described in equation like this, okay? So, uh, in J mesh, not yours, you are living in I mesh, J mesh, another mesh, service M is provided, medical service by hospital, uh, shopping uh, goods service by shops, uh, uh, cultural service by shrine, etc. But that, uh, this will diminish because of distance, of course. Then you, available, accessible value is only A, okay? If you live in J, but uh, uh, depending on person K, young, uh, old, or man, or women, woman, uh, W is different. Weight, be weight between service M is different. So weighted sum is, I define, this is quality of life. This is answer to you, what is quality of life in my definition, mm. in my definition. Okay. Now, if you uh, sum up all over, integrated all over K, this is Bhutan's gross national happiness. 
the gross, nation, gross regional or gross national, whichever, gross city happiness is okay, boundary difference boundary. So gross na national happiness is also automatically calculated. But this is much, much better because we can calculate for each individual person. Mm -hmm. Okay? If you tell me your age, mm -hmm. uh, man or woman, yes. or uh, 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 whichever, uh, your income level, whichever, yes. okay? Then I can calculate for you. Stay home. Okay? And uh, for example, uh, not only gross national happiness, it's gross na national happiness for old man, young lady, the categorized people group. We can uh, calculate, if you like. Yes. Okay. So this is an example of uh, Nanjing city in China. Okay. Mm. My former student, a female student, did it. Um, okay. So uh, this is about uh, 50 kilometer. This is uh, 20 kilometer. Nanjing city, uh, this is a uh, metro line, uh, railway line, okay? And the, this is a medical service, hospitals, number of beds. Okay, this is existing uh, uh, service pro provision, values. And how accessible value shaped? Please imagine, okay, imagine. Then this is shape of accessible values, okay? You may not imagine, uh, you couldn't imagine before. Okay, so here, there are a lot of citizens, uh, many hospitals, and then, hi, it's okay. But here, uh, some, pen, uh, some uh, peninsula here, and this is low, so because, as I told, here's a railway line here, so it can be accessible more, more easily, but this area, no railways, difficult to access. Okay, so this is, uh, accessible value uh, 3D representation. And this is another example. Uh, okay, I have to finish up uh, very soon. Uh, another example, uh, case study in Singapore. Who are from Singapore? No. No. Okay. Uh, uh, no. Uh, sorry. Okay, so uh, this is a uh, Female and lower is male, okay. mm. and then young, medium, middle age, and the senior. Mm -hmm. For ladies, uh, what, what is important is uh, uh, noise, uh, medical service, education, etc. Access to education, but amongst them, a crime rate is important, most important. Mm. While men are not so. Uh, for example, middle age men. Access for working place is most important. And for senior people, both female and male, community life is more important than uh, shopping or crime rate. Okay. So this is the difference in weight, W. Right? Then if we map here in uh, Singapore, uh, this is about, uh, uh, this is, uh, so this is about 70 kilometer, uh, 40 kilometer. This is city center. Well, normally city center is better, okay? Uh, and the dark blue is a uh, low uh, uh, QOL. For, this is young, for young female, and this is young men, okay? Uh, wait. Young men is uh, a bit more happy than <laughs> young lady. And uh, middle-aged female more happy, middle-aged men less happy. Yes. Maybe they are workaholic. Workaholic. If there are shop, shopping centers, they don't uh, uh, recommend. And uh, uh, fe uh, old female so and so, and old man very happy. So I have to remove to Singapore. I see. So <laughs> such kind of things are uh, okay now. Uh, now the height, height is, oh. height is, uh, how many people are there? Mm. Okay, happy people not so many, unhappy people outside so many, uh, agglomerated. Oh. Okay, so 
what one of the ideas to uh, make them happy is to construct a new railway line along such uh, many people are unhappy corridor, oh. okay, to connect to city center. Or that is civil engineer's idea, okay, to construct. Mm. So the civil engineers wish to construct everything. Okay. <laughs> I'm civil engineer. My, my colleagues, my former students are always so. But I say to them, no, 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 no. That holism is important. Don't think only construction. What else is, um, if we, uh, bec because of uh, uh, cost difference, cost is high here in city center, they cannot live. So if we give some subsidies or tax reduction for these people, uh, the same amount of uh, uh, cost gap, then at least half of these people, so the equal, the, for, for them equal, the cost is the same. Maybe m moving into the city center, that is uh, tax or s by subsidy compact for city uh, policy, okay? So uh, there are such kind of uh, different ideas, and the best is uh, some combinations in between. Right. So uh, this is the same one. Okay. Then finally, uh, QR-based urban planning. Uh, okay, this is uh, our project in Thailand now. So this is. Uh, another JICA project uh, we uh, oh. applied and uh, finally we got it. Uh, the competition was uh, 10 times uh, yes. Yes. Uh, among 20 applications uh, we were uh, happily uh, two, two. one of two not only transport but uh, uh, the green field. production uh, protection etc all field. such uh, projects yes. okay so this is Thailand uh, this is a smart transport strategy for Thailand 4.0. This is our project. Uh, or formerly, Thailand's transport was very sustainable, very quiet. But uh, you introduced American system, American stupid system, I don't say. <laughs> American system. Yes. Uh, sorry. <laughs> American system. Uh, then, then the photo with. I took 20 yes. years ago. Yes. Okay, stuck. Everything stuck. So the ideal city was Los Angeles. Uh, it's a 10 lane uh, freeway, living uh, in a suburb, in a big house with uh, five bedrooms, uh, and uh, commuting big car, by big car, but it was not working. Then we proposed uh, a sky train, etc., uh, the basic. Uh, today's plan, uh, JICA team, uh, I was chairman of, uh, 20 years ago, we proposed, and uh, now you have many, uh, this is Metro, uh, uh, etc. BTS. Yeah, B, uh, BTS. Yes, BTS and uh, MRT. MRT. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so uh, uh, governor, um, uh, say, uh, uh, Chamron. Chamron. Yeah. He was a very clever uh, governor, and yes. he understood very uh, sharply. Yes. The only three years after our uh, project's uh, final seminar, this was open. It was amazing. Uh, but now you, uh, and then uh, congestion released very much. Mm. Okay, so uh, like uh, uh, formerly six uh, kilometer per hour was the six kilometer per hour. But now, uh, so 10 years ago, uh, speed increased uh, 15 or 16. Okay, but now coming back again, 10 kilometer, something like that. Coming back to uh, American, I don't yes. say stupidity, but uh, it was <laughs> stupid. <laughs> So uh, American no, it's <laughs> Okay. So yes. Now we propose to link uh, tuk tuk 
re revive, uh, make it nicer, tuk tuk with SkyTrain, with Metro, in such a way. Uh, like this, okay. Uh, so uh, we propose uh, congestion management, not only crossing, uh, this is very important, uh, signaling, etc. It's important, but, but also, the, for example, imagine this is Kumbit Road. Okay. The background land use are now changing a lot. Formerly houses only, but now shops, restaurants. So created, generated traffic uh, trips are so different. Okay. And even uh, continued housings, the people have become rich. The average income of uh, Bangkok is close to national average of Japan now. So if you like, you can buy Mercedes-Benz or Lamborghini Countach, whichever. Uh, so people now don't use tuk-tuk, but uh, people own cars and then uh, access to uh, main road, but not change to uh, bus or sky train, but you can uh, uh, drive uh, all the way to the destinations. So that creates uh, new congestions. Uh, okay, so that should be analyzed. So uh, road network, paratransit connections, smartphone bookings, uh, we uh, uh, integrate these things. And then data is uh, congestion data, uh, quality of trip data, uh, uh, traffic volume. And also uh, area-wide, uh, metropolitan-wide, uh, land use control, lifestyle change, uh, Transit oriented, oriented development, rail network, and data is land use, uh, quality of living and work, etc. And then more detailed data, signal control, sensors, uh, uh, say, uh, traffic volume, people's behaviors, uh, etc. So now, uh, some of you know uh, uh, opening of. Uh, Purple line, uh, where is purple line? Somewhere here, okay, purple line. But uh, not many, not all of the people uh, okay, uh, use railways because no feeder service uh, between uh, his house and the nearest station and between the station to the workplace. So our idea is to connect everything uh, in a mobile phone or uh, uh, watch. Okay, so all the lives will be installed in the watch. <laughs> and then uh, if we use, uh, okay, so I will omit that uh, uh, very soon you, you will face uh, population decline. Also China, uh, population decline very soon. So uh, aged society will come. Uh, so, and then look at transport, not from uh, infrastructure side, but from human side, person side. Then we manage all the transport in quality of life profile. Uh, get up at six, uh, and the uh, car user for commuting, uh, rail user for commuting, uh, spending time is different. Spending for commuting is much bigger, car users. The car users uh, wake up six o'clock, then suddenly start driving, yeah. and then uh, involved in traffic congestion, a very unhappy situation, low QOL, and then uh, this is the workplace, and then in the evening again, like six. Okay. So this profile. So under this line is this day's uh, QOL for him. Okay. And not only QL, but also security and safety, traffic accident uh, risks like this. This is a part of QL. And uh, also how much CO2 congested, the more CO2 emitted uh, per, per minute or per hour, etc. So what is important is quality of life versus CO2 to keep this quality of life. How much CO2 is emitted? So this is white stickers, 
Probably wrong white seekers, factor concept. Factor 4, factor 5, or factor 10, whichever. So this we will achieve in Bangkok. And then uh, we'll export the system to all over the world, to Tokyo, to London, uh, to Beijing, uh, Delhi, uh, wherever. Okay, so I should, uh, this is again. Okay. And uh, also, uh, if we cannot have uh, enough space to uh, construct a bridge, then we borrow the shopping centers, uh, car park, share, and then the, uh, introduce mileage system. If truck took a uh, train, they use the mileage accumulated. And that can be used for shopping. A shopping uh, point can be used for ticket. So win-win uh, situation. So all the life is a pointing system inside of watch or uh, mobile phone, yeah. So this is all Thai taxi. So they have such a system already, uh, better uh, than Uber, uh, <laughs> where new uh, uh, calling will be coming. Uh, so using mechanical uh, running, uh, you can know more. Uh, so then, then we create finally. Uh, Sorry, uh, no. Uh, this uh, real system uh, that uh, equips you with sensors or quality of life questionnaires, IoT, then cyberspace can help the physical space, then a better policy created for a better quality of life. So we have also such. Uh, uh, this is a tube university's facility. Uh, we have been working with uh, Algoa's team, uh, NASA, uh, Digital Earth, uh, and uh, from satellite to the uh, point of uh, Bangkok, uh, vertically linked. And also uh, we have such uh, probe data, uh, uh, where are uh, the cars are running? Demand is uh, we are passing through, etc. So this is time of the day, uh, etc. And then we have also 3D uh, data correction system introduced and the redesigned the uh, intersections. And then uh, who are walking, uh, recognizing what old person, young persons walking speed, etc. And then this is the final slide. Uh, what we wish uh, finally to do is, we call it a uh, uh, Scumbit model because model uh, uh, area is Scumbit Road. Uh, imagine this is uh, Asok, uh, the shopping center here. Yes. But uh, you live here, one kilometer, one kilometer. And uh, 1993, you took from here to here more than two hours. Okay. <laughs> so service can be obtained only this. But uh, after opening of SkyTrain, uh, this part, trunk transport section, trunk road, reduced, travel time reduced. Mm -hmm. Then uh, closer, and then can get this. Yeah. But access is still limited. Yes. Then finally, uh, integration of, uh, by a smart system, mm -hmm. uh, well uh, managed, the soil will become also smooth then more services you can get. Very good. So this is the basic concept model, mm -hmm. uh, how to make uh, urban, tra uh, urban transport planning uh, or urban planning better, uh, based on quality of life, uh, fully utilizing IoT. So thank you very much. OK, thank you. <laughs> Yes, uh, any question or comment or something share here? Yeah. So to talk too much. You, <laughs> okay, <laughs> you want to add something? Yes. I want to share something about the tuk-tuk. Tuk-tuk uh, in Bangkok is very expensive. Uh, from my experience uh, a day before, from Yawalap to here, from the Chinatown to here, cost me 200 baht. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh, for 
บัสคอสมี 6.5 บาทครับเดี๋ยวบอกครับ Of course, that should be changed. So utilizing a fully ITS, uh, uh, IoT, uh, uh, and also combined with uh, pointing system, uh, uh, shopping service, etc. That will be the price structure will be redesigned, uh, uh, fully integrated into one system. So now uh, only that, that is uh, tourist price. Yes, uh, yes, tourist, tourist price. Tourist. <laughs> and, uh, if this will become uh, more popular and then not uh, only conventional tuk tuk, but much more attractive, latest technology and much safer. Uh, oh. So we can control CO2 pollution and the quality of life, everything. So depending on the total. Uh, increase in quality of life or total decrease of uh, damages, uh, cost, including uh, po pollution, mm -hmm. that is a cost. Then the pricing structure uh, should be changed. That is uh, recommended to the government. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think the tuk tuk is small. You want the small space and they can move. Yeah. To anyway. That's why you say that tuk tuk is a good yeah. Sharing is a new concept not occupy uh, the previous speaker told not don't occupy data <laughs> the same idea don't occupy the car by yourself mm -hmm. i see yes any other question or comment please <laughs> yes please So thank you for your speak, and I'm thinking it's pretty interesting idea. But uh, first of all, uh, how do we convince the people to using such a system on this? Yeah, so uh, what, what is the plan for that? I, I think it will be very hard, and there are apps uh, is there before that because there are some some time like uh, when we are uh, like. Introducing the uh, yes. traveler, yeah, for the traveler, they, they can like, change the price for foreigners. So there might be some like tuk tuk driver who don't want to be in the system because mm -hmm. they can get less profit on that. Mm -hmm. So how can we solve that as well? Okay, thank you. A very good question. <laughs> but I'm very confident because uh, 20 years ago, almost desperate. No one believed the new railway will be open. Yes. But I persuaded, persuaded <laughs> for four years, four years, the government and people here. So I'm very confident. And also, uh, this time, yes, uh, you are very right. So we will involve uh, high school girls, for example, uh, young people, mm. what they wish to have. Mm. Okay. So, uh, so this is a uh, matter of marketing. Uh, new market. So uh, combine everything together. That is uh, the car company's idea. Involve everything. Then uh, accumulate money they can, and then they can invest for the others. So that kind of things uh, can be done because transport market is huge. A huge uh, uh, the target of investment. So uh, I think uh, private firms will be joining uh, Google, such big companies, may wish uh, to be involved. Uh, rather than uh, doing the business solely, integrate shopping, transport, uh, healthcare for the uh, old people all together. That is our idea. But of course, before achieving that, I, I cannot promise but I'm still uh, hopeful and uh, involving, in particular, young girls, uh, young boys. Uh, I think it's uh, possible. Thank you. The project is five years now. So you think that five years can be happened? <laughs> well, now five years. <laughs> okay, any question or comment, please? Yeah? No? <laughs> Thank you very much for your very interesting um, talk. Uh, because I'm a computer scientist, and we 
we have we also have been working on transportation program and also collaborate with Nagoya uh, University of Technology for by using Mohegan uh, <coughs> technology for smart city modeling smart grid for production. But you uh, you emphasize from your top level view like uh, avoiding shifting and improving. So particularly to Bangkok traffic uh, transportation um, problem. And in, instead of I consider smart management uh, or resource sharing, car sharing, and based on my experience, like uh, I came from Australia, and uh, we have a New South Wales state government uh, smart transportation scheduling uh, related to human issue, uh, resource, cost, everything. Um, but also in local government, maybe local government also provide, like uh, in each city in Sydney, in our city, uh, free bus in the city location to, uh, to encourage people don't use the car for the, uh, pr for the environment protection. And another thing for our university for parking. Parking is also the issue. Uh, like a student come, normally travel from Sydney. They need to pay like hours parking, but mm -hmm. our university take the car park. Mm -hmm. If the same car set three people parking for free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that okay. is also encourage people reduce their cost. Also encourage people to for resource sharing. And so this is another issue uh, performed by our university. Our university also provide uh, free shuttle from train station to university, mm -hmm. every train from Sydney or departure for free. And so many people give up, even we have a lot of private car and they just uh, use uh, the, the use of public transport. Mm -hmm. And another That's thing great. is a smart card, we call Oppo card, two years performed in Australia uh, uh, than for the railway. We use Opel car very cheaper. And it means that, uh, like I, I travel to Sydney for return, especially in Sunday, only $2.50 for return, normally $20. Mm -hmm. So all these facility in Sydney area, if you travel, you don't use a car, then they will reduce in certain distance, not only for this time, even go back only $2 or $3. Mm -hmm. So this is all together for environmental issue, for improving for resource sharing, or also avoid the traffic jam and reduce the cost for each individual user or customer. Benefit for everyone. So we, I, we everyone uses a smart, uh, we call open car mm -hmm. or transport. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see. Instead of you buy the tickets much cheaper, like in Japan, I just uh, traveled from Tokyo to <laughs> two days ago. And we also <laughs> use card more cheaper convenient Sweet. than instead of uh, buying the tickets. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank, you. thank you very much you really for, for your uh, thank many uh, excellent ideas. Uh, so uh, the final, uh, uh, say, uh, the basic uh, idea is to in integrate all the things and show the people, show a particular citizen, which is the best for you. So, uh, and the best for you in terms of quality of life. So, uh, so far, uh, different systems appear. This is cheaper, this is faster. But finally, faster is how much good for you is not shown. Okay? So, faster for a young girl, faster for an uh, old man, uh, different. The one minute reduction is different. Mm. Or for business people, one minute reduction can be used for another GDP increase. Mm -hmm. But for old man, uh, we, we, we are not working. No, uh, no contribution to increase in GDP, but making ourselves, uh, say, uh, healthy mm -hmm. and not a uh, burden on the working generations. Uh, this is a very big uh, problem in Japan. Now, uh, over 65 years old is 28%, uh, nearly 30%. Mm. And my uh, secretaries, secretaries generation of about 50 years, ladies, are very busy 
to take care of their parents, mm. uh, always uh, lying down, and then uh, everything should be care. Mm. Uh, so <coughs> before becoming like this, how to make uh, other people walk every day and then use uh, public transport uh, and going for uh, sightseeing or for shopping, etc. safely. Mm. Mm. Uh, the, the management by uh, quality of life of uh, such people, or each people, each person, is, I think, very important. And uh, this we can show, uh, we can provide the data for uh, SDGs inclusiveness, so uh, sustainable development goals. Now, mm. it was agreed uh, at the summit of uh, United Nations uh, two or three years ago, but uh, there's no uh, method to really show we have achieved, we were achieved in such a way. So this method, I hope, mm. uh, can help uh, how much uh, re reduce the uh, gaps between this person or that person, rich and uh, poor, young and old, etc. So everything can be uh, monitored and uh, uh, make it open to the people. Then position each own person uh, their own happiness. And, uh, and the next day, go for uh, increasing happiness or go down, uh, he <laughs> or she judge. Finally, uh, redesign the fair system uh, for tuk-tuk with uh, sky train is the cheapest uh, to increase the certain amount of uh, quality of life. Okay, thank you. Oh, you have one. Okay. Uh, okay, my name is Winky. I'm a student from Dr. Bharat here. Uh, uh, I'm just curious uh, why you just took the best alternative transportation in Thailand for Thailand 4.0, and then how about the design of Tuk Tuk? Is it still same with this current Tuk Tuk design, or you will make a new design for the Tuk Tuk with, with more comprehensive, like electric bus or something like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so uh, we are not uh, always good designers of a Tuk Tuk, so we leave uh, all, all the uh, big or small automobile vehicle companies, uh, venture businesses, uh, they are inventing different types of small uh, small vehicles. Mm. Uh, that can be used uh, -tuk for tuk-tuk. Mm. Okay. So what we could do is uh, to stimulate them to uh, create better design to fit to our system and then pick up the best one uh, for this period or that period. We, we, uh, perhaps we don't buy tuk-tuks, the uh, rental. <laughs> oh. And then if a better one will appear, then, then we'll uh, rent another one in such a way. But the uh, uh, onboard system and then main, uh, main server, uh, that's all. We can do uh, uh, everything. Yeah. And why Thailand 4.0 is uh, Thailand 4.0, uh, as far as I understand, uh, Thailand 3.0 until then, then was uh, people for economy. Mm. It is noted. Okay? People were labor force for creating GDP, uh, raising up GDP. But no, now, 4.0 is economy for people. Mm. Economy can upgrade people's quality of life. That's my understanding. Mm. And that is a goal. So whichever uh, system combinations uh, can uh, raise quality of life of uh, elderly person, younger, etc. Uh, that should be uh, introduced. But uh, any system introduced can be monitored uh, by IoT, etc. Then, then show all the citizens and perhaps uh, citizens may uh, choose in the future. Uh, partially, it was done in Japan, not utilizing IoT, but 
when we introduced the 2002, year 2002, we introduced a green tax system for vehicles. The former time, big car, big engine car, more tax. Mm. But after that, it doesn't matter the same engine size, mm. but the low emission cars, cheaper, mm. low, low tax. Mm. What happened was the consumer market rushed into uh, low carbon, low emission cars like mm. Prius. So Prius uh, skyrocketingly uh, started to, to mm. be sold. Mm. So then that what happened was the air became very clean suddenly. So in Japan, if you went there, no mm. smell in, 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 the, yes. in the street. So we were also surprised. And the basic model, my lab uh, supplied. And it was uh, used by the government in a bigger scale. OK, thank you very much. Okay. It's time, thank you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. We have to tell you. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs>